Assalamu alaikum student of class 7. I am your ICT teacher Khurshid Alam Browning from Square High School and College. And today I am going to discuss about input and output device, which is from your ICT book chapter 2. So let's get started. Sound card. A device that is very common in today's ICT oriented machine is sound card. It works as an input as well as an output device. It is controlled by software. Most sound cards transform digital data into analog sounds. By connecting the output audio signals to an amplifier, we can listen to the sound through either a headphone or a speaker. All sound cards have input and output connections. If any input is given from the outside either through any microphone or through any input device, the sound card transmits it to the processor which after processing it sends it back to the sound card from where we can listen through output device such as headphones or speakers. Currently, the motherboards of all brands have built-in sound cards. Multimedia is this metaphor necessary through sound card. We can enjoy music, movies and play games with sound effects due to the sound card. But for professional users, the sound card is usually connected to the motherboard separately. Multimedia may be divided into linear and non-linear categories. Linear content do not require any navigational control for the viewers such as a cinema presentation. Nonlinear requires interactivity to control progress such as a video game or self-paced computer based training. Hypermedia is an example of nonlinear content. Hypermedia Hypermedia is a computer software and hardware that allows user to interact with text, graphic, sound and video, each of which can be accessed from within any of the others. Multimedia presentation can be live or recorded. A recorded presentation may allow interactivity via a navigational system. A live multimedia presentation may allow interactivity via an interaction with the presenter or performer. Graphics card When you use computer or mobile phone, you give commands using the visual images or icons on the monitor. The commands are controlled by the graphics card. It is also called video card, display card or graphic adapter. Like sound cards, most of the graphic cards are built in, though there are slots or sockets to connect disjointed graphic cards to the motherboard. But most modern processors have video or display chip with which they can display visual images without graphics card. All graphic cards can display 2D, that is two-dimensional pictures. But now graphics cards are available that can show three-dimensional pictures, but a 3D monitor is required to watch 3D pictures. We can now watch live and bright pictures like sound cards. Graphic cards have input and output connectors. Also it has a separate port for playing games, so you can easily connect joystick or other devices. Ok student, that was all about for today. In next class, I will discuss about output devices. Till then, goodbye.